Hi guys, this is H. Sema and today we're gonna make a cosplay together. Remember, this is a series of videos where we're doing Yumeko Jabami's outfit. I'm gonna leave you the other videos on the description box, but for this one, we're gonna make her coat. There are a million of ways that you can make her coat, and by the way, this is not just for her coat. Any other character on the show wears the same jacket, but one that I won't spoil. <laughs> you got to watch the anime. Anyways, back to it. To be quite honest, to make a jacket is not an easy task and it's not beginners friendly and I would like to make this tutorial to be 100% beginners friendly. I'm a tad mental about it. So you can make this cosplay yourself in your home. So I thought that the easiest way that you could do this at your house is to buy a jacket and dye it red. And I couldn't find one with two buttons so I'm gonna transform this one into Yumeko's Jabemi's one. And for that, the first alteration is to pretend my jacket has two buttons. So pin it in place. With a paper and a marker, I'm gonna trace around the collar so I can make my pattern. It is not hard at all, it's very very easy. And in a few seconds, you have your pattern. And now you're gonna do the same thing for the pockets. And that is roughly your pattern that you're gonna cut on the fabric. Cut your pattern off the paper and put it on your fabric. Remember to leave some room around each piece so you can fold it and stitch in place. Because I have to cover both left and right, I folded the black fabric so I can cut it once both of the sides. I also did it for the pockets, once for the breast pocket and twice for the wrists. Then you're going to put on your jacket and pin the ton out of it. Seriously, you can totally see how this is turning and how hard is it? You can totally do this. If you can cut shapes, you can totally do this cosplay because this is the skill set for this one. I swear to God. I'm pretty sure that people could glue it in place, but to be honest, I really hate gluing. I think that you can do this. Seriously, this is one day project. Come to the sewing part of the force. Um, back to it, you're going to get the piece for your pocket, fold it lengthwise, stitch it all around if you have a serger, go for it, and stitch it in place by hand. This doesn't really take that long, you can just watch Netflix and do your thing. Two hours later. Okay, now that all the pockets are done, you're gonna go for the wrists and the lines that it has in the center. To make the cuffs, I like to measure the height, what I wanted, and then I double. That way they're folded together and it looks pretty good, not just from the outside, but also from the inside. And I do the same thing for the lines. You have to fold it because sometimes it shows as you're walking, as you're doing any movement. It looks a lot better and remember to cut it twice, one to the left and one for the right. I recommend you try this on first, so pin it in place like you did before and see if you like it or not and try to work with it. And once I was happy with it, I stitched it in place by machine. You can also do this by hand, but me personally, I think that the machine has a prettier finish. And remember that we don't have an extra button, so I put it a velcro and an eyelid where the button should be. And it doesn't show on the outside as you're wearing because the card goes right over it. I thought that somebody would complain that it doesn't have two buttons, but to my amusement, nobody even noticed. They were only talking about the color of the skirt. So I made another video dyeing the skirt so it would be perfect. And now for the tie, I just made two more strips like the ones I made for the pockets. I pin it in place how I wanted and then I also pin an elastic band around the neck. Once I was satisfied with it, stitched everything in place and glued a half pearl on it. 
And for our last tutorial today, let's make the card. You're going to need clear contact paper, a piece of chain for the necklace, and of course, a print of the card. I'm pretty sure that you could draw this by hand, but I just decided to print it. If you need this print, you can check the description box and I'm gonna leave you the link right there. You could print this in straight cardboard paper, but I'm cheap, so I just used the same paper and I just cut it around and glue it over and over three times. Let it dry and then you would have something like this. Alright, now that you have your card done, you're gonna cover it in plastic. Put your card on the clear plastic and trace it around, just cut it around roughly. And cut it in half, this way you have front and back. Peel it halfway so you can cover the back of the card and then you cover the front. I recommend you starting with the back because things tend to get a little bit funky when I play with contact paper. So if anything goes wrong, it goes on the back. Once you're done, you're going to poke a hole on the black dot. And then you just have to put the chain on it. This is it for this tutorial, guys. I hope that you guys have liked it. Please subscribe to my channel for more. And make sure that you check my other videos. Like I said, I already made the skirt, the coat, the wig, and I also dyed the skirt. So you have plenty to see. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. I answer everybody.